Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Mini Motorways. I am still not bored of this game. I hope you're not. I just saw on Steam I've actually been playing this for 15 hours. <laughs> uh, you'd really think I'd be better at this by now. However, last time I played this I was on the daily challenge on stream. Uh, check this out. Look, I got my highest ever score. 4,400 points. Uh, so let's see if we can take any of that knowledge into Manila, which I believe is the capital of the Philippines. The most densely populated city in the world. Okay, I did not know that. But cool, let's see what Manila has for us. Thankfully, it's got a very nice start. Just a straight road. I'm liking the color scheme of this. All right, so if you haven't seen this game before, uh, firstly, welcome to the channel, because I'm guessing you haven't seen a video on my channel before. <laughs> Uh, secondly, the aim is to connect coloured houses to the coloured supermarkets that they want so they can pick up the upside down shopping bags, shove them in the car and then drive back home again. Now, the longer you last, the more houses and traffic that happens and the more shops and different colours appeared and it all gets a bit complicated. Uh, but for each journey that's complete, you get a point and you can see in the top right, we're currently on five points. Now, as you saw recently, my top score was 4,000, but that was a daily challenge, so I don't really know if that counts. All right, I'm going to keep these yellows segregated. Unfortunately, we're going to smash up this blue tree, so boosh. Did you chop down this tree? Shame on you. For shame. Now you see these yellow cars are leaving the house, driving to the supermarket, all without disrupting the reds. All right, so at the end of every in-game week, you get to pick between an upgrade that you can add. Picking one of these will give us either two traffic lights or one roundabout. So we're going to go with a roundabout because I haven't found a good use for traffic lights. But really, I'm just about non-signalized junctions. So let's press pause and let's just try and work out how the hell are we going to get around this. So typically, I'd be looking to do something like that and then sort of get the blue involved somehow. But because of where the reds and the yellows are located, we've got this road going in between and there's no way round without either taking the yellows around the red, which would require a bridge over the ILOG Asig. <laughs> That's probably terribly pronounced. I apologize, Philippines. But yeah, for now, we're going to just do this with the blue and just have the blues and the yellows intermingle along this stretch. Not ideal, but I plan on coming back and putting the long blue, long blue bridge in. I'm a civil engineer, so I love a bridge. Oh, look at this. We've got another red. So this is quite an easy one. We can just do that sort of thing. Connect all these houses in. And now you'll see if we hold right click the the boss of the map has expanded, so we can actually split these up. So I've deleted all of those now. If we bring this road along here, we're just, this is all a bridge. So we were using two bridges for a second, but if you look now, down here, that means we've got a bridge back. Now the downside with doing this is it means we cannot cross like a, a, along there. You cannot take a road across a bridge. Uh, I'm going to go for another roundabout. And then you'll notice this yellow is just spawned there. So we're going to actually take this red around because we don't want our cars mingling. We want to keep all the colors separate. Ideally as well, you want to use extreme segregation, as I like to call it. And then this one here on IMAX, this is, this is upgraded. So it was a supermarket, a square shape, now it's a circle. Uh, generally you want about four houses going to that early in the game, and then slowly as the game goes on, they can accept more. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately not very easy to split up the reds, so they're all going to have to share this road, which means this stretch here in particular could get pretty congested. But I'm sure we'll get some more coloured houses spawn all over the place and it's, it's never a good idea to plan too early on. Although look at the shape of my roads. Is that not a bull bag and a shaft? That's not just me. That cannot be just me. The strongest, most efficient shape is following me everywhere. But that's the end of another week. It's the end of week three. So we can pick between a bridge and two traffic lights. I'm going to go for the bridge I am sort of thinking about doing my extreme segregation thing. So I could bring reds. I got quite a lot of tiles now. Uh, but for now, bigger fish to fry because this yellow is just spawned up top. And unfortunately, the house has bloody spawned over here. So we're going to have to go up and around quite a long route. There's only one house connects at the moment. I imagine. Yes, there you go. I was about to say, I imagine others will spawn soon. And there we are. Two houses. That should do this slice of brioche. Nicely. Oh, we've even got a third. Look at that. So we'll wrap that around in this house in the middle. <laughs> He's now like on an island roundabout. Uh, but gardens are overrated anyway. Uh, look over here. We've got some dark blueage going on. I think we'll come straight down and then across like that. Oh, you idiot. All right. So we, we've got a dark blue spawn there. Ah, oh, ha ha ha. Thank you, game. 
So when you pick a motorway, you get 10 road tiles. That's half as many as you'd usually get. But just you wait till you see the power of the motorway. Wait, come over it, connect onto that road. Lovely. And if we press play, all of this should like delete itself. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, why game? So for now, I just, this is going to be temporary. I'm literally just going to have to wait. I'm going to turn that into a roundabout. Now that'll just keep things moving a bit smoother there because we really want to avoid crossroads. These trips are really racking up now. It's on three already. Now our first car's arriving and it's on four, so that will bring it back down. And if you're wondering how you lose this game, if you let these trips build up without sending any cars, a timer will appear. And if that timer fills up, game over. Thank you, game. Game has been good to me, at least with the greens. So we've got a straight into there. Another green down there. So I think we'll ruin the other green guy's house. Sorry, matey. All right, so it's the end of week five. This time we get to pick between a roundabout and 20 tiles or just 30 tiles on their own. Now, tiles are super useful. So I'm definitely going that route. We now have 40 in total. Uh, however, not the best. This red supermarket has just upgraded to an IMAX cinema. And annoyingly, all the houses are spawning down here. And that essentially means we're cocked in a way. <laughs> now, while it's early in the game, I might have a full on rejig. So what I'm thinking is motorway should actually go from this red to these. This is really risky. I feel like it's needed. And then to get these reds over there, we're going to come along here, go straight across and then connect all these reds straight down like that. Delete that windiness and just do that. And then these dark blues, you're going to go up and all connect into here. It seems like the best thing to do, although that house has just spawned there, so I can take you straight down. So at least that's closer to the IMAX and the red supermarket. So maybe it was worth doing that after all. So the only bit of integration between colors we've got is this road. Yeah, this road right of there. Now that's between dark blues and yellows, although that's not ideal. And our house has spawned in the middle of there. Don't know. I don't know. Can't think of a way around. Whatever we do, it's just going to be temporary until the end of the week. It's currently Thursday, so I guess let's not overthink it. Let's just connect in there. So now this house, the light blue leaves there, comes all the way along here, all the way down. Oh, look, the game has actually been nice to me. Let's pause quickly. We've got a house nearby. So instead, we should just be able to use this. Whew, that was scary for a second. That was scary. Right, thankfully, it's the end of week six and we've got another motorway. So literally, when you see a motorway, no decision making needed at all. It's just pick the motorway, then press pause and decide where you want to use it. It really depends on what color supermarket is going to spawn next to this slice of brioche because that changes everything. So yeah, we'll just be a little bit patient for now. But yeah, dark blue, this one on the right, that's probably going to be a motorway. Oh, but look, but look, maybe there isn't any need because we do need to mix these two up after all. Another dark blue down here. Connect you in. So from my motorway, I'm just sort of waiting to see which building isn't getting enough customers. And for now, they're all sort of floating around the two or three marks. That's good. Oh, look, it's the end of week seven. We've got another motorway. Right, so let's hit pause. Things are getting a little bit tricky then. I'm now thinking... I want to rip up this bridge and replace it with a motorway. Oh, and another yellow there. Oh, God. Okay. I can see red is starting to become a bit of an issue as well. So what I'm thinking is we rip up all of this red. Now, we should probably leave that house connected just because it's an extra house. But we then take a motorway from there. Uh, probably to there-ish, actually. And then that allows us to take some yellows from here straight down. Well, actually, motorway three... Before you get rebuilt, I should probably just put you like here. Yeah, that's much more sensible. Much more sensible. Oh, and it's week eight and we've got another motorway. Three in a row. Okay, definitely take that. It seems quite slow, actually. I wonder, could I put a roundabout in? Would that make things better? I think it might do. Oh, look out. Hang on, hang on. Let's slow down. Let's slow it down a sec because we just got a new supermarket. So we have to rejig the roundabout slightly to do that. Down the bottom, a red house just spawned. So I'm going to make the green a bit of a longer journey. And I'm going to take this red up through the gap. 
and just connect up there. Then these greens, I may as well connect them straight down. So now this red house is also funding these two IMAXs, as well as all the cars coming around the roundabout, which seems to be working a lot better. Traffic doesn't seem to be slowing down too much. So pretty pleased I did that before it was too late. Three houses. Okay, I feel like we're going to use our bridge situation then. And we'll basically, I think, just do that. And we'll bridge over to there like that for now. A very cheeky red supermarket just spawned. But I'm going to take these up to these houses down the bottom. So we'll go in a diagonal like that. And then we'll move all you guys to face that way. I think we only need two, actually. So that will probably do for now. Oh, it's week nine. We've got another motorway. Oh, yes. This is looking good. We have got so many motorways. I wonder, is it time to try and split up dark blue and yellow? So to do that, that would involve deleting that road and then motorwaying from here over to somewhere. The somewhere is the big question on this. Sort of thinking there. Yeah, so we've now got three dark blue houses connected via motorway four just over to this one on its own. Right, green is a bit of an issue. I've just noticed we're not actually connected. <laughs> Uh, schoolboy error so quickly connect those houses in and that should sort that out a bit a bit of an emergency oh god in that we've got a green up there three houses here on their own i think we just motorway up to there so that's got three houses going along motorway five and meanwhile the other four go to this imax hopefully that's enough or yes with that it is All right we just hit a thousand points as well so pretty good situation we're now out of everything. I'm going to leave traffic lights and we are actually going to take a bridge. Now, I was trying to avoid using a bridge completely, which I think I could do. Because actually having a look under here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So we got, we delete this yellow route, which goes all the way around the back. We can come down here and you'll notice we can go under this motorway now. So yeah, I think that's much better because this is a direct route. That's not using a bridge. We've now got three bridges, which could come in handy if we want to make some shortcuts later on. So yeah, nice. Extreme segregation is a thing. I think we're literally as segregated as we can be. And then why there's a red spawn there, I do not know. You're in the wrong area of town, mate. We've got so many rotels. Oh god, that's just upgraded to an IMAX. We don't have enough houses, basically. Uh, I'm going to go with a roundabout rather than a bridge, because we've got three bridges. That's a lot of bridge. Right, these two reds, really, really not good. Uh, is there a way around? Just doing like that sort of thing, just to hopefully make the on a bit smoother. Oh, really, game? Let's put a green up top. How do I even go about doing that? I'm guessing we're going to have to go all the way around, trying to stay in a straight line. And go down to there, I guess. Okay, okay, master plan is a go. So basically, this yellow road connects to the roundabout there. We'll delete all of this green road and we'll take this yellow road around. So that's doing the same thing, but it's just going a slightly longer route it's going around the back of the green. But it gives space to do a straight down over a bridge onto the roundabout. You know, I can connect this little bit of road that's been hanging around and we can bring these greens up. So basically there's a green and yellow crossroads there, but uh, they should be fine. They should be fine. I would love a motorway about now. Oh, week 12, no bloody motorway, just a roundabout or traffic lights. I'll go with roundabout. Oh no. <laughs> Hello there. You've got a red down there now. I don't even have any words. Let's connect it in. Let's connect that house in temporarily. Map still hasn't expanded down, but we've hit 2000 points. That's very good considering we haven't had a timer yet. Oh yes, we got a motorway. We have a motorway. Thank goodness. The map still hasn't expanded down though. Uh, but I'm sort of thinking, can I grab a load of these houses and go to this IMAX directly? Uh, probably going to be the world's shortest motorway. We could disconnect that from the roundabout completely. Because we've got two bridges. We could just do like... But it should make things here a lot smoother and I can actually shortcut some of you. Now we've also got a group of dark blues down here actually. So we could motorway them up there if needed. Yeah, that's our first timer. I feel like we might have fixed that though with our... Once this all settles in, there's loads of cars coming back. So once that's deleted, that bit of road in there, we'll see how good we're looking. It's nearly the end of the week though, Sunday. 
That means another upgrade. Oh, and it's another motorway. This is looking good. This is good. Two motorways. The question is, how do we best use them? I feel like splitting these two IMAXs up. So we leave all of these reds going to that top IMAX. And then we do a separate one for the bottom. Yeah, that could work. That could work. All right, yeah, let's hit pause. This is going to be a risky delete. Yeah, I'm actually going to have to bring one of these houses down, I think. So if we do a private motorway for these two guys up to there, and then ideally at some point we'll try and get these two in once the map expands. This level is mental. Light blues all looking good. Yeah, they're not looking bad. Oh, no, look. Okay, we've got a timer down here now. I just need the level to expand downward. Is it not going to expand? Has the level done expanding? The level might be done expanding. Oh, God, we've got a timer in the middle. It's the end of Sunday, though. Bridge or roundabout? We've got one of each already, so I'll just go bridge. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is max level size, so we're not going to have the opportunity to expand downwards. Yeah, I've saw, I think I've sorted out these IMAXs in the middle. I was sort of thinking I could add an extra house in there. It's a bit cheeky, but we can do an arm off there, off that roundabout, and just connect this house. Although it does mingle the red, it's only one house, and that's an extra two journeys we can do to that one. And that could mean potentially we could bring one of these down, allowing us to take one of these off there. I might even take one off there anyway. So these three houses, now just do that one. I'm going to motorway from these two, private motorway, over to there. So I think that should sort out these bottom two reds. Yeah, look, we're in the 3000s now. And we're just going to let it run till the end, pretty much. I don't think there's too much more we can do within our space. Look how many road pieces we have. All right, I'll tell you what, there is something we can do. Look at this IMAX. Not great. So bridge straight up like that and add those in. That adds in three houses. Uh, week 16, another bridge. I think we'll take that. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. So now this green is also connected up to this IMAX. I don't know if this is a thing either, but I'm going to straighten up my motorways just to make them as short as possible. Don't know. <gasps> we got another motorway. Oh, we're actually on for a high score. We're on 4,000 points. This is amazing. I am happy. And we've got sort of five red houses down here, not doing a lot. They are connected. The odd car is leaving, but it'd be worth motorwaying them, probably. I'm just going to save the motorway for emergencies at the moment, though. Well, look, we've got a timer. We've got a red timer up there. Oh, look, we've got another motorway. Yes. <laughs> All right, so this one, I'm going to take it around. I am just going to connect them in because that's right next to the IMAX. That's great. Uh, yellow's a little bit dodgy. That red, not good. That could be where we motorway to. So we're going to motorway up to there. And so now we see all of these cars. They're going to head up and go straight to this IMAX. And hopefully that will save the timer. Uh, this yellow as well. We could connect all of these together and do a private motorway over there. Let's see if the timer is going to go down or is it slowly working up? It's slowly working up, right? So we'll do the motorway. The so motorway nine is from there straight across. So I've got nine motorways, which I believe is the absolute max you can have in this game. Like everyone's trying to get into this IMAX. Like <laughs> the latest Harry Potter has just come out. There hasn't been a Harry Potter in like five years, 10 years. And they've just released one. Everyone wants to go see it. Oh no, that blue's going to die. The blue's going to die. Oh, that was pretty good though. 144 days, 6,000 commuters traveled. That's our best score yet. Let's have a look at what happened in the end. Manila, I like you level. Yeah, decent. Decent. You can see you can see where the carnage was. It was just all the yellows. They were just like stumbling over each other. But uh, let's exit to the menu and see how we scored. 1700th. I will take that. But yeah, cheers guys. Peace, love, and motorways. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.